All right. Well, uh, welcome back, guys. Today, I want to share with you this uh, 65 Chevy Impala kit that I had uh, finished. Um, it was a project I started back a few years ago and finally finished it. Um, it was one of those things where I did the body work and it sat forever. Then I painted it and it sat forever. But in the uh, whole meantime, I would be showing a buddy of mine, Rick Grant, a uh, model car builder up in uh, Canada. And uh, he would always uh, say, man, you need to finish that car. Well, unfortunately, a year ago, uh, this uh, past November, my buddy Rick passed away. And I thought, you know, in memory of Rick, I would finish this uh, model car. And this is it. It's a uh, 65 Impala monogram kit with a custom treatment from a AMT 65 Chevy Impala. And with a little bit of work and a little bit of finagling, I got it to uh, fit on there pretty good. Um, Rick was a really good model car builder and uh, also built other subjects. He um, was a, a really good custom car motorcycle painter and would paint his model cars up with uh, a lot of metal flake and candy. His big thing was just like me. He liked the uh, 1960s style stuff in the 1970s. And uh, so, yeah, I think he'd uh, really be happy with uh, this car now that it's finished. Um, I also did a little figure of him. I'm not much of a figure builder or painter. Um, but Rick, Rick used to paint figures all the time and they looked really good. And I think he would have got a kick out of this figure being of him standing next to the car. I've got a couple of progress pictures. Um, I'll show you. I don't have many. Unfortunately, I didn't take a lot of pictures of this car before. Um, but I'll show you those and share them with you. And, uh, and then I'll be right back. All right, so now that um, I've come back, I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about the car. The, um, the model is a uh, monogram 1965 Chevy Impala kit. And I've grafted the front end from here to the very front, the uh, custom parts out of the AMT. 1965 and Pella kit um, little bit a little bit of work it, it fit on there pretty good um, as you can see I've, I've also chopped the top shaved the uh, the door handles in there and, and anything that that didn't really need to be on there it just kind of went away uh, changed out the uh, rear bumper and the whole rear panel here this also coming from the um 65 and pallet kit custom parts you know filled in the rear window and did that uh a few diamonds in there coated the uh car with metal flake silver then uh candy blue and some cobalt blue fades in there the um, AMT custom parts 
came with a uh, clear hood. Um, and I thought that was pretty cool. I had to have that, that clear hood on there. I've seen some that guys have uh, painted the hood, maybe because they were damaged or scratched up so bad they couldn't be saved. I uh, lucked out. And this hood was, was pretty much near mint when I got it. That allowed me to uh, show off the engine bay. So, uh, you know, put a big block Chevy in there. Painted it candy blue. And uh, spark plug wires, coil wire. Some wires to the alternator. Just a little extra detail. Painted the uh, engine bay the same color as the interior. kind of tie them in together and uh yeah so that's that's my 65 um i'm really happy with it i think rick would have really enjoyed seeing the car done um i'm glad to have it i'm uh, glad to have rick as a uh long time friend at one time i'm sure we'll see each other again one day and um and until then you guys keep uh modeling if you like this kind of stuff give me a like uh subscription and and maybe tell your buddies and uh until the next one i'll see you then